Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome Anne Arundel Community College learners from the Spring 2023 semester taking the CTS 233 Section 400 Network Programmability course. This is the Cisco Networking Academy's DevASC 200-901 Certification Exam Preparation course, and in this, the final video on Lab 6.3.6, where we're building a CI-CD pipeline using Jenkins, we're gonna be diving into part eight. And part eight is awesome. We're actually going to be creating a pipeline. And so you might be asking, well, how is that different from the freestyle jobs we were creating? Well, remember with the freestyle jobs, we would like go and click the job individually and it would do whatever the individual task it was meant to do. And so we would have to click the build now button next to those other jobs. Well, here, when we do the pipeline, we're actually going to be telling Jenkins to go ahead, build the app, or actually stop the container from running if it is running, and then go ahead and do the build and do the test and the stages, right? We're going to be dealing with the different stages, the preparation stage, the build stage. And so these are all the things you're going to be learning about in this video. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, you'll notice that I have here in the... Uh, DevASC virtual machine terminal window, I have the script that they're showing, but let's talk a little bit about what you're looking at here, right? Because they give us the script, but they don't give us much information about what we're, what this is. Well, this is referred to as Groovy, right? Or you might hear it referred to as a declarative pipeline syntax. Uh, and the programming language here is Groovy. Now, Groovy is really strongly related to Java. In fact, you can run the Groovy code in the Java virtual machine of the JVM. And so that's why it's gonna look like Java. So you've got a single line comment, it's just the forward slash forward slash. If you wanna do multi-line, right? It's kind of like C code here. And here is our Groovy code. Now, best practices, you're gonna name this code or name this file, uh, Jenkinsfile.groovy, and I, I'm not making this up, that is the file name extension that you would have on your Jenkins file, right? If you were gonna be creating this somewhere as opposed to just uh, pasting it in, right? And then we've got like different stages we're gonna be dealing with. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Now in the lab, they're gonna talk about a multi-lab or a, or a multi-lab, a uh, multi-node or a distributed uh, type Jenkins setup. Well, we're just doing it on this node, right? So we're basically saying, hey, we're running it on our Jenkins node. And for the preparation stage, I'm going to catch an error if the build result is success uh, because we're looking for, uh, and that's checking to see if the uh, Docker, the sample running app that we created is actually still running. And if it is, we're going to say, Docker stop sample running, and then we're gonna say Docker remove sample running. Right now, we've already run these codes. You guys have seen, or these commands, you guys have seen these commands from the CLI when we were working with just the Docker image before we started to get here into the sort of automation of what we were doing. So for the preparation stage, we're checking to see, hey, is the sample app running? If it is, then we're doing that. We're stopping it and we're removing it because we're coming down to the build stage here. And what are we doing in the build stage? Well, again, remember, we're just building our app and I'm gonna, the name here is gonna change. And then we are building the testing of the app. And so again, what this groovy Jenkins file is doing is it is building our, it's checking to see if our app is running. It's stopping and removing it if it is, because maybe we were messing around with it earlier. And then it's gonna build the app and it's gonna test the app. So it's doing everything right here in this file. Now, word of caution here, this last curly brace, right? And this has happened last uh, semester. This was a, a dumpster fire. So in the lab, that little trailing last curly brace is not on the same page as all the other code. So on page 13 of 15 in the PDF, you see a whole bunch of code, but you don't see that little closing brace right there. That is on page 14 of 15 at the top. So make sure that you pay attention to that last closing brace if you're doing a cut and paste here uh, so that you get it. Because if that is not in there, you will end up with lots and lots of errors. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. And again, this is really straightforward. We're gonna create a pipeline job. So how do we do that? Well, let me go ahead, let's copy. Well, actually, and I'll grab all the comments as well. Let's grab it all so that you can see that these are actually comments. We're gonna say copy and say copy right there. We're gonna pull up the dashboard here for Jenkins. Uh, and again, we're just in the localhost colon 8080, which is Jenkins running inside of the Docker container. So we're at the dashboard. We're gonna click on new item. We're gonna enter the item name and we'll stick with their name. We'll just call it sample pipeline. Oops, sorry. We'll say sample pipeline. Right now, remember up until this point, we've been doing freestyle projects, right? Now we're going to be doing a pipeline project. So we're gonna click on pipeline and then we're gonna simply click okay. Now under the pipeline setup here, there's, a no, well, there's just a few things that we can do, right? And, and again, when you click on general, you'll notice it's not moving you anywhere. That's because you can just kind of scroll down and get to, whoops, sorry, get to the general information. So here at the general, it's just a description and I'll put in here my um, sample pipeline uh, groovy code. And again, I'm not making that up. So we'll say pipeline and boy, that got kind of messed up there. All right, so my sample pipeline groovy code. All right, so we've got that. We don't need to do anything here. You can see we can discard old builds, don't allow concurrent builds. If it was a GitHub project and let's keep coming down, build triggers. We don't need to do any of the build triggers here. Advanced project options. We don't need any of that. We just wanna come down to the pipeline section and this is where we're gonna put in our Jenkins file pipeline script. And so we're gonna paste all this in here. Now remember, and you can see here, right? Those are comments and let me pull this all the way up here. So these are comments, that's a single line comment and that's how you would do that. And this is a multi-line comment and that's how you would do that. Kind of like the C programming language. Again, line 20 is that little trailing curly brace right there that you wanna make sure that you capture. So here's our file and it's not until we get here that we need to remember. Again, if you were following along with the lab, build app job and test app job are gonna do the trick. However, I was using some different names. I was using sample app build with yesterday's date, 2023, and then 03022023. And then for the test, if you remember, we were just putting in some different names here. I said sample app test dash 8675309. All right, let's make sure we've got that in there. All right, so if I was to click apply, you can see it's saving my changes here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And you know, if I went back and made additional changes. Now it looks a lot like the previous jobs that we had, but remember on the previous jobs, if you go back to the dashboard and scroll down, you can see the previous jobs. We had to kind of kick those off one at a time. And we wanted to make sure that we killed or you know, stopped and removed the Docker container from running. So let's go ahead and click on build now, right? So we're gonna be running our sample pipeline. You can see build scheduled. If we come down here, we should, there it is. All right, so now this is doing everything. This is checking to see is the Docker container sample app currently running? If it is, we're gonna stop it, we're gonna remove it. Then we're gonna do the build stage and then we are gonna do the testing stage and we're gonna do it all right here on this individual node. And I think this takes around, uh, 15 seconds or so. It should not take too terribly long. Uh, you can see here it's going to be blue, but that should turn green once we have a successful test if I don't have any typos in my code. And take a look at that. So we get the, the green check mark. So now let's come down here. It took 31 seconds. Let's look at our console output. You could view it as plain text as well, but we're good. All right, so started by user admin, right? Pipeline, start of the pipeline, running Jenkins. And there we go, the stages, the preparation stage, the catch air stage, Docker stop sample running. So it stopped it, it removed it, right? And then we had, let's keep coming down here, scheduling of the project, right? So that was the ninth time that project had been scheduled. Because remember, we ran that multiple times yesterday. And then we did our test, right? And the final success or the final status code here of success is exactly what we're looking for. So now if we come back over here to the terminal window real briefly, let's go ahead and say Docker PS. And you can see 
that it was tested and it's still running. So if I was to go back over here and run this again, and we can go ahead and go right, sorry, just go right back, click on sample pipeline and I can click build now. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let me test that again. So the idea being with the pipeline, right? Is the CI CD pipeline, which you know, we've kind of created bits and pieces of a CI CD pipeline here in Jenkins. But basically what we're doing now is all I have to do is come in here, click this one button and any additional changes I've made, uh, you know, to the code for the app or whatever the case may be and, you know, uploaded the new container, this single click is going to go ahead and test that. And of course we should end up with success again. Okay. So that is going to do it for the last and final lab or last and final part here of lab 6.3.6, .6, build a CI CD pipeline using Jenkins. Now I'm going to do a supplemental video here on Jenkins where I put in the groovy code to, co to coordinate and to check your GitHub repo to see if anything has been changed. And if it has, it's going to pull it down, build it and test it. We're going to go cradle to grave. All right. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.